Um, so I remember when you were going for uh, Miss World Samoa and you had the whole Samoan community rallying behind you and now you continue to have a social media presence. Do you feel there's a responsibility that comes with having a social media following? Absolutely, absolutely. And I didn't understand that at the time. Um, in 2014, kind of 2014, 2015, 2016, my social media just kind of exploded. And I didn't really have that mindset at the time to, oh, I'll be an influencer. Oh, I'll do X, Y, and Z. Um, looking back on that now, I'm, I'm a lot more understanding that what I put out on social media actually affects people and can mm. actually encourage people. And especially the younger generation, um, the messages that I receive from people are incredible. <laughs> and they really are people sharing their real life stories and situations and also sharing to me how my message or my word or my picture or what I've done has helped them, you know, make a decision about their life. Mm. And so when you receive those types of messages from people, you really have a stronger understanding of how important it is what you say and what you put out on social media. And I think that's even more prevalent today, considering the content that is going out on social media. Um, I am a bit conservative, I guess, as you'd say. Um, and so I, I worry for our next generation because um, there's so many voices um, saying so many different opinions um, and expressing so many different things outside of, I guess, my value set or you know a faith-based value set which I think is beautiful and, and, uh, and amazing that people can get sidetracked and um, and so yeah it's really important for me um, what I put out on social mm -hmm. media um, that one it's positive two that it's always encouraging and three that um, it's obviously there's there's a faith-based value to what I'm what I'm saying yeah